Item. SCP-578. Object Class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-578 is to be contained within standard safe class anomalous liquids tanks. Any personnel excluding D-Class under testing conditions are to wear level C hazmat suits while handling SCP-578. All newly recovered instances of SCP-578-1 are to be catalogued and destroyed. Description. SCP-578 is a colorless, odorless liquid consisting of a solution of water, silicon, and a previously unknown and uncharacterized enzyme. It has a viscosity of 0.9 cp at 29 degrees Celsius. A boiling point of 123 degrees Celsius at sea level, and a freezing point of 4 degrees Celsius. At the time of this writing, 413L of SCP-578 exist in containment. SCP-578's anomalous properties manifest when it is brought into contact with human blood. First. SCP-578 spreads throughout the blood by way of rapid effusion. The enzyme in SCP-578 then causes a clotting cascade in the blood, followed by crystallization of the blood via chemical reaction. This crystallized blood is designated an instance of SCP-578-1, approximately 1.7 milliliters of SCP-578 is required to fully convert a liter of blood. SCP-578-1's chemical structure is reminiscent of opals, consisting of hydrated silica. During the crystallization process, clots of blood cells become trapped within the structure of SCP-578-1, resulting in a bright red coloration. Tests involving SCP-578 and blood plasma have confirmed that the absence of these blood clots in the structure of SCP-578-1 results in a significantly weaker structure. SCP-578-1 has a hardness of 6.8 on the Mohs scale, and a melting point of 1020 degrees Celsius. SCP-578-1 is not capable of converting more blood and can be handled without protective gear. SCP-578 and several hundred instances of SCP-578-1 were initially discovered during a Foundation raid on a Marshall, Carter, and Dark Limited facility. The facility had been used as a production site for various items made of SCP-578-1. The exact process MC&D used to create SCP-578 is unknown.